So in our today's class, uh, we're going to start working on a, on a complete PHP project. And uh, to, to do one, I'd like us to look at a project that has got uh, a CRUD or a CRUD kind of operation. So CRUD, C-R-U-D, stands for, C is for create, R for read, uh, U, U for update, and D for delete, so CRUD or CRUD, C-R-U-D, yeah. So uh, I would like us to come up with a system that probably is, uh, maybe we are going to do a shop, a shop system, whereby someone can add products to the shop, someone can, uh, can display those details or those products to the user, yeah, to the user. Then uh, you can delete a product from your database and you can update, yeah? You can actually update that product. Mm -hmm. Can update so right away let's just click on create a new uh a new project then we can just call it as uh maybe our shop yeah our shop our shop Our shop then right away inside our shop let's create a new uh, a new a new php file and this php file we can just call it as index index yeah all lowercase index that is going to be our launching file yeah index then on this index <clears throat> we can uh, we can simply uh, have html uh, welcoming someone to our system and having maybe a, a, a form where they can fill in maybe the product name, the product quantity, and the product price. Yeah, just three of those. Yeah, them. yeah. So we can have HTML, <clears throat> HTML, HTML control space, so that we can have HTML5. Then we can have these as maybe um, we can say maybe our our shop our shop home yeah maybe our shop home yeah this is the home of our shop then uh, i would like us to work with bootstrap yeah so that we can make sure that our our project looks really pretty yeah we can work with bootstrap yeah so right away let me just go and copy um uh, bootstrap to our project so right away where is bootstrap uh, let me go to my computer and see on my downloads if I have Bootstrap with me. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Do I have Bootstrap really on my documents? Do I really have no downloads? I need to be having. Ah, it's here. It's here on my download. So right away, let me just copy, copy these. I can close this window. Then let me take my Bootstrap to my shop. Paste these Bootstrap right there. Yeah, let me just uh, paste the bootstrap right there. Yeah, so yeah, the, the, the pasting is So I don't really need this bootstrap.js right here. So let me simply connect to my bootstrap right away down here. Let me start by, um, uh, let me start by, by uh, connecting to, to the scripts, the, J, the JavaScript. Uh, the javascript so use the script right there then the src yeah the src uh yeah the src then we go to bootstrap forward slash uh js and forward slash we can start with the jquery yeah jquery right there yeah we start with the jquery connection yeah we have we have actually connected to the, uh, to the jQuery. Then uh, another thing, another thing that we need to connect to is uh, we need to connect to the popper. Yeah, popper. And we also need to connect to bootstrap.js. Yeah, I hope these things you already know uh, because they, or you, you did them in your, in your previous sessions. Yeah, so we have connected to jQuery. Popper and bootstrap.js. We also need to link to the 
bootstrap.css. So we link to bootstrap folder for slash CSS, then bootstrap.css. Yeah, bootstrap.css. So having said that, having said that, I will need to have a registration form. So to have a registration form, let me first of all uh, just have a div or a div of class row. A div, so this div is of class row. A class row. Then inside the class row, this is a bootstrap class. Uh, so let me have uh, uh, let me have three more divs of, of equal sizes. So dot call dash md, or I can just say dot call dash four uh, times three of them. So I have three divs of equal sizes so that the in between one. This in between one is the one that I want to use to have my form. Yeah, to have my form, my form. So uh, instead of uh, doing things from scratch, let me just go on W3 schools, copy a form, a readily designed form, so that I can continue using that. So let me just go to W3 schools. Where is it? Uh, W3 schools. I, I even have it in my history. Okay, so uh, here we go with our W3 school. So let me just hit on land bootstrap. Then yeah, bootstrap form, bootstrap form. Yeah, so let me just go down here for BS4 forms. Yeah, BS4 forms. Then BS4 forms, let me go for the one for the validated version. Uh, uh, utils, no. Let me go the, for the validated one. Which one, which one, which one, which one? Yeah, form validation. Let me go for this one here. Then uh, let me copy the example. Here is the example. So let me just copy this form validation down here. Yeah, right there. Let me copy. Then I will edit. Yeah, just copy that. Go to your PHP storm. Inside this middle div, let me paste it right there. Yeah, I actually have my form now. I actually have my form. Then the action, the action we will need to create a, a, a product handler. Yeah, product handler. So because when we have a product, we are saving the product, then we can create another new PHP file, which will process the product, uh, the, the request that will come from the form. So this in our PHP file, we can call it as maybe... Uh, uh, product handler, yeah, product, product, yeah, underscore add, underscore handler, yeah, product and ha add handler, yeah, product add handler, yeah, I've actually created that, we will handle this later, but at least on our form now, let's just, uh, uh, let's just change the action to go to product add, yeah, product add, handler then uh the method the method that we are sending this with method let's use method post yeah let's just use the method post yeah then right away uh instead of uh, uh giving this one as username let's use it as maybe product name product name uh then uh the name yeah enter product name enter product name yeah then uh, the name is you instead of you name we can use this as p name to mean product name yeah p name instead of your name we can use p name p name p name to mean product name uh, the ids and stuff like that we can just leave them as be yeah or we can actually also change them because yeah we can actually also use uh this one the label we can also use p name and in fact, the ID, we can also use P name. Yeah, we can actually change all of them to P name, P name, P name. Yeah, so that even in PHP, we will just use P name to mean the product name. Uh, uh, so this second one, this second one, uh, we can use, uh, I actually, don't, first of all, let's, I don't, I don't need this check checkbox this checkbox i honestly don't need the checkbox yeah so this div from here to down here 
I don't really need this. Instead, instead, uh, I want to change this one from password to quantity. Yeah, the product name, then we need the quantity. Quantity, yeah. Then instead of PWD, we can just use QTTY to mean quantity. Yeah, to mean quantity. Yeah, and then in fact, input type, input type number. We can actually use input type number to mean quantity. Yeah, input type number. Then, um, yeah, input type number. Then in this uh, PWD, we can also just give it QTTY. Then this PSWD, we can give it QTTY also. Yeah, no problem. Then we can say enter quantity. Enter quantity. Yeah. Then uh, we can just copy. We can copy this div down here so that uh, we can uh, make it to be to be the price. Yeah. The price. Yeah. Quantity and the price. Yeah. So this one uh, I can just give it instead of QTTY. I can give it price. Then uh, yeah, we can actually just use the price there. Then also this one, the label is just price. Then input type. Uh, we can just use text because someone can can put there something like say maybe uh, uh, maybe fifty point fifty cents or a hundred point fifty cents. Yeah. So let's just use input type text. Then uh, instead of QTTY, we can have price. We can also have here as price. Then this is also enter price. Yeah. Enter price. So that yeah, at least it is now working. It is actually working so that uh, yeah, we have an, uh, a label for the price, then input type, and everything is working as we desire, as we desire. Then this button right here, this button we can give it as um, uh, input type submit. Yeah, this is a button type submit. Then the name, the name is uh, the name, the name of this button. We can actually give it a name as uh, btn underscore submit. We can actually give it that name that we used in the in the PHP. Yeah, and then we, uh, we can just leave the text that is right there as submit. No problem at all, at all, at all. Or instead of doing this, instead of doing this, we can just give it an input. Yeah, we can. Uh, in fact, let's let's do it as an input. We can just say um, input an input of type submit. Yeah, input type submit. Then the name, the name is going to be uh, btn underscore submit, submit. Then the value, the value that is going to appear on this button is maybe submit or add. Oh, yeah, we can actually just use it as submit, submit. Then we can give it a bootstrap class, maybe class uh, btn. Then we can use btn outline primary, yeah, yeah or btn outline info info then btn block yeah to make sure that it takes the entire space yeah btn block yeah so that right now if we go and run our project called uh, our shop yeah let's just go and run that and see how it appears so right away uh localhost and ensure that your server is running remember right now my server is not yet running so let me just ensure that my server is running yeah, let me ensure that my server is running. So, so go. Sorry. Are you, are you sure you don't have caps lock on? Oh my goodness. Yeah, should be working. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's now working so that we can now say localhost. Um, then projects. Uh, so where is our project called our shop? It is right here. Our, our project called our shop is right here. So when I hit on it, it's automatically going to launch the index. And here we go. We have uh, a product name product uh, the quantity and the price 
right here, then yeah, we can just hit on submit and it is working perfectly okay. Perfectly okay. So only that let's just put some H1 right up here to introduce someone to our show. Yeah. So um, just right up here before the form, we can have a H1. Yeah. A H1 with uh, with a text, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe immobilis, immobilis students. Students Center. Yeah. Is it like that? Center. Yeah. Center. Yeah. So Immobile Student Center. Then let's give it a, a class. A class as text info. Text info. Then a text center. Yeah, text center. So that, yeah, text class text info and text center. Let's see how this looks like. Yeah, immobilis students center. Yeah, yeah. It's actually working. Yeah, and it looks really nice. Yeah, we can, if we wish, we could use text danger for it to, be, no, it is immobilis, not immobilis. Yeah, it is immo, immobi, immobilis. Yeah, student center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immobilis, students, center. Then the product name, we will use the product name, product quantity, product price. Yeah, that's exactly what we are trying to do. So that if I type in the name, maybe I can say, maybe uh, donut uh, quantity, maybe there are 50 of them. Price per donut is, 10 bob then uh, when i click on submit i need to see some message saying uh, uh the product has been submitted successfully or such like a thing but meanwhile at least right now we have set up the page where you need to submit the product and it's looking really nice using bootstrap using bootstrap so the very next thing that i, uh, I would like us to do the very next thing that i would like us to do now is let's go and prepare our database Let's simply go and prepare our database so that our database can have an input for the product name, uh, our column, sorry, a column for the product name, a column for the quantity, and the column for the price. Then finally, we are also going to have the column for the ID, yeah, the auto-incremented ID column, yeah? So right away, let's simply go and prepare our database. Uh, uh, we can just uh, go to our local host. Yeah, just like that, localhost. Then PHP my admin, where are you? It's here. Uh, then let's just uh, hit on databases, then create a database called our shop. Yeah, our underscore shop. Yeah, yeah, our shop. Our database is called our shop. Yeah, our shop. Hit on create. Then let's just create a, a table inside this shop called products. Yeah, products. Yeah, products which has got four columns. So the first column is going for, to be for the ID. The second one is for the name. The third one is for the quantity and the fourth one for the price. Yeah, then um, uh, products. Yeah, four columns, hit on a go. Then the first column is simply going to be for the ID. The second one is going to be for the uh, name of the product. Then the third one is going to be for the quantity. Quantity. Then the fourth one is going to be for the price. Price. Then uh, this first column is an integer. Uh, we can give it a maximum of 255 characters. Then we can make it an auto-incremented column. Yeah. We can simply make it an auto incremented column as usual then just hit on a go hit on a go then the second one for the name we can just uh, put a variable character then we can give it a maximum column length of even 50 characters then uh the integer one uh, the, the the quantity one we can also give it a um, an int yeah an integer yeah because it's just like a number 
then we can give it a length of 50, then the price. The price one, we can give it a variable character because we can, uh, yeah, we can actually use a variable character, then 50, 50 right there. Or we can even actually also use this one as a variable character, then validate all our data using PHP. Yeah, we can actually use that approach. Uh, but anyway, or anyway, let's just leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. So our ID column, is uh i uh is our uh this is our id column integer to 55 it is auto incremented and automatically this column was made and uh, a primary a primary index then a primary key then yeah actually it is working it is working perfectly okay so let's simply hit on save save then yeah so id name quantity price so uh in this class, yeah, at least we've been able to prepare our our first page. Yeah, our first page, whereby I'm very sure if someone clicks on submit, we will simply go on product handler.php. But the product handler.php, as you can see, it's empty, nothing is there. Uh yeah. Also, we can just uh put another another button right here to clear the records if you wanted to clear. So on our on our form right after this input type submit. We can have another input, uh, input, input of type preset, and um, then uh, it doesn't need to have a name. Let, let's just give it a value. A value is maybe clear, uh, clear. Then we can give it um, uh, a class. Of BTN, uh, BTN, then BTN block. Yeah, let's just give it BTN, BTN block, and let's see. It's clear, not clear. It's clear. Yeah, clear. So let's see how that looks like here. Yeah, uh, yeah, clear. It's working right there. Yeah, you could actually. It on clear right down there. So let's also just give it some some uh, button. Uh, BTN, BTN, uh, BTN outline second sec secondary. Let's see how that looks like. Secondary, BTN outline secondary. How does it look like? Yeah, much better, much better. Yeah, clear. Yeah, that looks much better. Outline secondary looks much better so that we have uh, some data there uh, and then some uh, some number there. Then maybe some some number there. Then when I hit on clear, yeah, I can clear all the fields that are right there. Yeah. So uh, as far as we're concerned, our Immobile Student Center uh, system uh, has got now a, a a product ad page whereby when you click on submit it's definitely going to go to uh to the product ad handler.php which we have not yet uh, uh designed then our database is already created so that's it for today uh let's uh, just meet in our next class to pick it up from there so that we can implement the saving uh, of our product and even the deletion yeah just to save implement the deletion then our last class will be just to edit or update our product and yeah then uh, try to see how we can move from one page to another in our system so that's it for today until the next class keep safe thank you and bye bye